Picture this. You start your day with toast, coffee, maybe some healthy snacks, and unknowingly feed something far darker. Cancer doesn't strike overnight. It grows in silence, fueled by everyday foods that look innocent, but ignite inflammation, DNA damage, and hormonal chaos. The scary part? Most were marketed as healthy, low-fat, sugar-free, made with vegetable oil, nice lies and nice packaging. Today, we're exposing the everyday foods that silently make cancer grow without you knowing. The quiet assassins hiding in your kitchen. Let's get started. Number 10. Processed Meats. The Smoky Assassin. You know that satisfying sizzle when bacon hits the pan? Yeah, that's basically the sound of your cells filing a complaint with HR. Processed meats, bacon, hot dogs, sausages, ham, all carry a dark secret hidden behind their smoky charm, nitrosamines. These are chemical compounds formed when nitrites, used to preserve color and flavor, react with amino acids in high heat. Scientists from the World Health Organization have classified processed meats as Group 1 carcinogens, the same category as tobacco and asbestos. And yet, we still wrap bacon around other meats like some sort of culinary suicide note. Here's how it works. When you eat these cured delights, nitrosamines and heterocyclic amines form in your gut and bloodstream, attacking DNA strands like microscopic vandals. Over time, this repeated assault can lead to colon and stomach cancer. Ironically, the very thing that makes these meats taste rich, that cured smoky edge, is exactly what makes them dangerous. That's like finding out the charming guy at the party is also the one stealing everyone's wallets. Researchers estimate that just 50 grams of processed meat a day, that's one hot dog or a few bacon strips, can raise your colon cancer risk by up to 18%. Sure, it's not instant death, but it's the slow, well-seasoned kind, the kind that comes with a side of regret and ketchup. So next time you're at a BBQ and someone offers you an extra hot dog, remember, it's not a snack. It's a slow-motion experiment in human denial. Number nine, refined sugar, the cancer's favorite snack. Cancer loves sugar the way teenagers love TikTok. Give it glucose and it throws a rave inside your body. Here's the dark science. Cancer cells are metabolic monsters. They consume glucose at a rate up to 200 times faster than normal cells, a phenomenon known as the Warburg effect. That's why oncologists use sugar-based imaging scans. Tumors literally light up when sugar enters the bloodstream. Now, refined sugars, the white crystals in your soda, desserts, and processed snacks, flood your system with glucose, forcing your pancreas to release insulin. Insulin doesn't just control blood sugar, it's also a growth signal. Chronic insulin spikes tell your body to grow, multiply, and not die when it's supposed to. Sounds familiar? That's basically cancer's dream lifestyle. Harvard researchers found that diets high in refined sugar correlate with increased risk of breast, colon, and pancreatic cancers. Yet, somehow, we pour caramel drizzle on coffee like it's holy water. The cruel joke? Food companies disguise sugar under names like dextrose, fructose, maltose, and evaporated cane juice. There are over 60 different aliases, making your cereal box a crime scene of chemical deception. So, the next time your cravings whisper, just one donut won't hurt. Remember, cancer cells are listening too. And they're hungry. Number 8. Vegetable Oils. The Silent Saboteurs. You'd think anything with the word vegetable in it would be innocent, right? Like kale or that one friend who pretends to like hiking. But vegetable oils? Different story. Soybean, corn, sunflower, and canola oil sound wholesome until you realize they're the biochemical equivalent of pouring liquid stress into your body. These oils are loaded with omega-6 fatty acids, which, in small doses, are fine. But the modern diet has turned a little into a flood. The problem? Omega-6s promote chronic inflammation, the same biological chaos that helps cancer take root and thrive. Cancer doesn't just appear out of nowhere. It needs a warm, inflamed environment. Think of inflammation as the perfect Airbnb for tumors, cozy, chaotic, and rent-free. When these oils are heated, especially for frying, they release aldehydes and lipid peroxides, both known to damage DNA and cell membranes. That crispy golden fries look is basically inflammation in 4K resolution. In 2017, researchers from the University of California discovered that mice fed high omega-6 diets developed liver and colon tumors faster than those eating balanced fats. Yet, these same oils are in salad dressings, chips, and even healthy granola bars. So next time you read Made with Heart Healthy Vegetable Oil, remember, they didn't specify whose heart. Number 7. Charred Foods. The Burnt Offering. We've all done it. Left the grill a little too long, told ourselves. It's just crispy. But those blackened edges? That's not flavor. That's carcinogenic chemistry at work. 
When meat or fish is cooked over high heat, grilled, fried, or barbecued, amino acids and creatine form heterocyclic amines, HCAs, and polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, PAHs. Both are substances proven to mutate DNA and promote cancer growth, especially in the colon, pancreas, and prostate. It's basically science's way of saying, congrats, your steak is delicious and experimental, and it's not just meats. Toast that's gone too dark, or charred marshmallows, all contain traces of acrylamide, another carcinogen formed when starches meet extreme heat. Fun fact, during a European study in 2020, people who ate crispy or well-done meats regularly had up to 60% higher cancer risk compared to those who preferred their food less burnt. That's right, your grill marks could be your downfall. If you absolutely must barbecue, because who doesn't love that summer smell, flip your food often, avoid direct flames, and maybe, just maybe, stop bragging about extra char. The only thing you're impressing is your oncologist. Number six, artificial sweeteners. The zero calorie trap. You've seen the commercials. Someone smiles while drinking diet soda. The tagline says guilt-free. Yeah, except the guilt comes later, usually in the form of your cells wondering what the hell just happened. Artificial sweeteners like aspartame, sucralose, and saccharin were invented to satisfy sugar cravings without calories. But in the body, no calories doesn't mean no consequences. Aspartame, for instance, breaks down into methanol and formaldehyde. Yes, the same chemical used to preserve dead frogs in high school biology class. Several studies have shown potential links between long-term consumption of these sweeteners and increased risk of lymphoma, leukemia, and bladder cancer, especially in animal tests. And while the human data is still debated, one 2022 study from the French National Institute for Health and Medical Research found that people who consumed artificial sweeteners daily had up to 13% higher overall cancer risk. But here's the kicker. Even if artificial sweeteners don't directly cause cancer, they trick your brain. Your body prepares for sugar that never arrives, disrupting metabolism, raising insulin resistance, and indirectly fueling the same inflammation that cancer loves. So next time you pick up that neon blue sugar-free drink, remember, the only thing you're saving calories for might be your tumor's lunch. Number five, microwave popcorn, the toxic movie snack. Ah, the smell of movie night, buttery popcorn, dim lights, and lung damage. That satisfying microwave popcorn aroma comes from diacetyl, a flavoring chemical linked to a condition affectionately known as popcorn lung. And yes, it's as bad as it sounds. But popcorn lung isn't the only concern. Many brands use perfluorooctanoic acid, PFOA, in the bag lining, the same chemical once used in non-stick cookware. PFOA is part of the forever chemicals family, which means it doesn't break down in your body or the environment for decades. It's been associated with kidney, liver, and testicular cancers in multiple epidemiological studies. When you microwave those bags, the heat releases PFOA into the popcorn, turning your casual snack into a slow chemical spill. Even the butter flavoring often contains synthetic esters and aldehydes, the kind of stuff industrial chemists wear gloves for. So, while your movie's villain might die in the third act, the real plot twist is that you're eating one. Want popcorn without the toxicity? Just go old school. Plain kernels, a stovetop, and a dash of olive oil. It won't kill you, unless you burn it, in which case see number seven. Number four, white bread, the soft killer in disguise. White bread, soft, fluffy, nostalgic. It's basically edible nostalgia, and a biochemical prank. Strip away the branding, and what you've really got is sugar-wearing carbs as camouflage. During processing, white flour loses almost all its fiber, vitamins, and nutrients, leaving behind pure starch. Once inside your body, it digests faster than a toddler opens candy, spiking blood sugar and insulin levels. High insulin means growth signals everywhere, including to precancerous cells. The American Journal of Clinical Nutrition found that people who ate the most refined grains and high glycemic foods had up to 49% higher risk of colon cancer. Why? Because those constant sugar surges don't just make you tired, they make your cells misbehave. Your gut bacteria also take a hit. The lack of fiber starves the good bacteria that normally regulate inflammation while harmful microbes flourish. Chronic gut inflammation then becomes the perfect soil for malignant growth. Ironically, the very softness people love about white bread, that melt-in-your-mouth texture, comes from bleaching agents and additives like azotocarbonamide, banned in Europe, still legal in the U.S. Fun fact, it's the same chemical used to make yoga mats spongy, so if your sandwich feels springy, congratulations. You just ate part of a gym floor. Bread isn't evil. But the whiter it gets, the more it behaves like sugar in disguise, 
a soft, pillowy delivery system for your next insulin spike. Number three, farmed fish, the toxic ocean illusion. You've heard it a thousand times. Eat fish, it's healthy. Sure, if you caught it yourself from a pristine glacier-fed stream in 1850. Modern farmed fish, especially salmon, are fed precessed pellets of corn, soy, and animal byproducts. Nothing like their wild diet. These pellets often contain pesticide residues, antibiotics, and microplastics. Worse, studies from Norway and Canada show farmed salmon contain up to 10 times more PCBs, polychlorinated biphenyls, toxic industrial chemicals linked to liver, prostate, and breast cancers. And here's the twist. Even though farmed salmon looks fresh pink, that color is fake. Farmers add synthetic astaxanthin to their feed to make the fish appear wild. It's like spray tanning your dinner. PCBs and dioxins accumulate in fat, meaning every bite adds to your lifetime chemical collection. And because they're lipophilic, these toxins don't flush out easily. They just hang out in your cells, sipping margaritas with free radicals. Want real omega-3s without the side of poison? Go for small wild fish, sardines, mackerel, anchovies. They don't live long enough to absorb humanity's sins. Number two, canned foods, the metal trap. You didn't see coming, pop, pour, heat, done. That satisfying crack of a can feels convenient until you realize it might also be the sound of your endocrine system giving up. Most canned foods are lined with bisphenol, A, BPA, a synthetic compound that keeps metal from corroding but comes with a sinister side effect. It mimics estrogen. When BPA seeps into your food, especially when cans are heated or stored for long periods, it can disrupt hormone balance and trigger uncontrolled cell growth, the kind that leads to breast and prostate cancers. In 2019, researchers from the University of Michigan found that people with the highest BPA levels had 68% more biomarkers linked to cancer risk. And while many brands now claim BPA-free, replacements like BPS or BPF can act the same way, just with better marketing. Canned tomatoes are the worst offenders. Their acidity accelerates BPA leaching, turning a quick spaghetti dinner into a low-budget toxicology experiment. So, yeah, canned soup might comfort you when you're sick, but ironically, it's the kind of comfort food your DNA wishes you'd skip. If you can, choose glass jars or Tetra Packs. Or, better yet, rediscover the lost art of fresh. It's like canned food, except it won't gaslight your hormones. Number one, alcohol, the celebrated carcinogen. The toast at weddings, the drink after work, the I've had a long day ritual. Alcohol is culture's favorite legal poison. And unfortunately, cancer loves it just as much as humans do. When your liver breaks down alcohol, it converts ethanol into acetaldehyde, a highly reactive compound that binds to DNA and prevents it from repairing itself properly. Over time, this leads to mutations, the kind that turn healthy cells into freeloading, multiplying psychopaths. The World Health Organization now classifies alcohol as a group one carcinogen, directly linked to at least seven types of cancer, mouth, throat, liver, breast, colon, esophagus, and stomach. That's right. Red wine is good for your heart, doesn't apply when your liver files for early retirement. Even moderate drinking adds risk. A massive 2023 study published in the Lancet Oncology showed that no level of alcohol consumption is completely safe, and the glass of wine a day myth has officially been debunked. Alcohol also dehydrates your tissues, slows cell recovery, and fuels inflammation, a biochemical festival for cancer. Add sugar mixers or processed snacks on the side, and you've basically thrown a party your cells won't recover from. So, while a drink might make life's chaos feel poetic, remember, cancer's probably raising its glass with you. That's it for today. I'll be doing similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.